Hi, I'm Corey. Thanks for taking a moment to listen to this. Um, this is a conversation about the benefits of being afraid in water. Um, this is a conversation that we have in the beginning class. And the reason why we have the conversation is because the benefits that we derive from something prevents us from making a change to it. So this is something we talk about in the beginning of the class where we have people write down their goals and their wildest dreams and their benefits of having been afraid in the water or not knowing how to swim. And people look at us like, okay, this is kind of weird. There are no benefits because by the time you've made it to class, you have such a strong urge to change, to not, you don't want those benefits anymore. But um, you might be still struggling with, am I going to take this class or not? And there are some benefits that you're still realizing out of not taking a class. And it's helpful just to kind of look at those and name those. And some of those benefits you will want to keep. And some of those benefits you're starting to say, mm, maybe I don't want that benefit anymore. You know, an easy example right now is you have the benefit of not spending your money on this. That is a clear and definite benefit. You're able to use that money for something else. Okay, that's an easy one. Let's see, another one might be something like, I don't have to be the worst person in the class if I never show up. Or I don't have to feel vulnerable. Um, these are things, if I don't go to the class, I never have to have those experiences. Those are benefits that you're getting right now. I'm not saying that if you take the class, you're gonna be the worst one or you have to be vulnerable, but these are th some things that might be keeping you away. Um, we have in our book a whole list of things that other students have said. You know, things like, um, small things like, I don't have to ruin my hair. But you might need to figure that out. Take a step and figure out, what am I going to do with my hair? Is that a concern for me? Um, you have more time for yourself. There's something else that you're doing now instead of learning to swim. This is a benefit. Now, and this may be something, one of these things that you might want to keep. You still want to have time to watch the football game. <laughs> That's a good example. So you didn't sign up for the class that was on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, or you still want to have time to do the exercise routine that you do or to sit on the couch at night after a long, hard day at work. You know, there you're filling your life and your time with things. And right now you're saying, those are the things that I want more than I want to learn how to swim. And not that I'm trying to build a case for you not to come take the class, but I know if you're listening to this, you're thinking about it. But there are things between you and being ready to do it. And simply by asking that question and taking a look at those things, it gives you a chance to start to decide which of these that you want, which of these you're ready to give up, or change, or create differently for yourself. And this will be true through the process of the class. That it's not that people's fear um, disappears in an instant, but there are layers of benefits that you get from being afraid and not knowing things. And we, want, we continue to look at them and continue to make a choice around them. Am I ready to let this one go? Can I forgive myself for a mistake that was made in the past or something, misinformation that I was given? or a mistake that I made for others, like not teaching my kids how to swim or to passing on to them to be afraid. Um, or maybe you didn't do that one. So there's just all these layers of things to help um, really get at our root cause and to change deep down. Uh, so when you are ready to learn and to no longer be afraid, we won't just do it at the very surface level. You'll do it all the way deep down to your core. And that way it'll stick with you for a very long time. So we look forward to seeing you. 
when the benefits of learning to swim outweigh the benefits of not learning. Thanks.